Welcome to the iRover assembly video. Today we're assembling the premium model with a 680 smart board. Before beginning, please ensure you have the right number of boxes for the model that was purchased. It is recommended to lay out and identify all parts as indicated in the assembly instructions. The hardware has been packed according to size for your convenience. The tools you'll need are a Phillips or Robertson screwdriver, two each, 7 16 9 16 and one half inch wrenches or two adjustable wrenches and a rubber mallet. Please be aware this product contains small parts that could present a hazard to children and should be assembled by adults. Hi, I'm Vanessa Graber from Copernicus and together with Andrew we're going to install the iRover Premium model. So first you're going to need the four casters, the four lock washers and your two legs. Hold the base of the caster and tighten by hand and engage the lock on each caster. Now we're going to install the sliding frame, which is a two-person task. Please note the orientation of the handle on the frame upper slide in respect to the legs. Now we're going to install the frame upper slide pole. Place the slide pole onto the upper slide. Looking from the front of the unit, the long adjustment bolt should be on the left hand side. A rubber mallet may be required to tap in the bolts. Install the first bolt into the round hole from back to front. Repeat with the oblong hole and tighten. Do not tighten the bolts on the top, as these allow the adjustment bolt to be used later when aligning the image on the board. The next step is to install the upper frame and secure the release cable. A rubber mallet may be required when installing the upper frame. Rotate the legs if necessary to align the holes for the bolts. For your safety, it is important to secure the gas cylinder at the top with a Velcro strap. Insert the end of the release cable at the bottom of the cylinder, then the groove into the clip. The cable snaps into place. Be careful! The gas cylinder is under pressure and will extend when the trigger is pulled. However, if you accidentally engage the cylinder, have one person pull the trigger while the other pulls down on the cylinder. Once recompressed, release the trigger first and then the cylinder. Now it's time to install the back supports. Looking from the front, ensure the back support with the laptop connector is on the right hand side. If necessary, rotate the legs to align the holes. Do not tighten the bolts. Next, we're going to install the upper stretchers. Make sure the gas cylinder is secured in the upright position with a Velcro strap if you've not done so already. Now we're going to install the wire management stretcher. Note the orientation of the wire management channel and attach to the rear legs using the top holes. Do not tighten so the shelf or lock box can be installed with ease. The next step is to install the lockbox. With one person on each side, put the lockbox into position and fasten starting with the top back corners. If necessary, loosen the bolts on the wire management stretcher. Open the door on the lockbox to thread the nuts from the inside. Then bolt the front top corners in the same manner. Repeat for the back lower corners and tighten all bolts. If you have the standard model, you will install the shelf now. Install the lower stretchers first. If necessary, loosen the bolts on the wire management stretcher, then attach the shelf stretchers. Please do not tighten bolts yet. Put the shelf into position and use the nylon spacers between the shelf and the shelf stretcher. Now you can tighten the hardware. What we're doing now is installing the projector arm free assembly. As one person lifts up on the upper frame, slide handle to align the holes. The other person can insert the bolts from back to front. Do not release the gas cylinder to install the bolts. If installing a 660 smart board, the upper mount bracket needs to be placed on the front of the frame with the small bar to the top. Install the bolts from back to front and do not over tighten to prevent from crushing the tubes. If installing a 680 smart board, the upper mount bracket needs to be placed on the front of the frame with a small bar to the bottom, forming a T. Install the bolts from back to front and do not over tighten to 
prevent crushing the tubes.